Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about one of the newly released features which enables us to transform our SharePoint list into Dataverse table directly with much ease. We can transform or change the data sources for our existing Power Apps applications from SharePoint list to Dataverse and which gives us or enables us to use the benefits of Dataverse versus SharePoint list. So what benefits we get out of Dataverse table is of course the scalability and performance and as you may be working with the Power Apps you must be seeing that was the data set grows SharePoint starts giving us problem of uh, retrieval on retrieval of data. So that challenges would not be there once we move our data to Dataverse table with the same structure which we are having in SharePoint list and it also enables us to uh, read the benefit of security and compliance when we create enterprise applications on Power Apps, then of course, like Dataverse tables would be a right choice, which gives us a robust security architecture where we can define the security at the row level, at the column level, based on our requirement. And as well as we have a lot of data governance benefits out of Dataverse table. So for enterprise apps, you may be like uh, choosing Dataverse tables over SharePoint. And for the existing Power Apps, where we already running a SharePoint list as a data source then this can be changed by this feature which is still in preview but are good to have a look. So I can, I have just opened my Power App Studio and I can go to start with data. So over here you will see if I scroll down with options I have this create with SharePoint list as an one option which is still in preview. So this is the option which we are talking about. We can directly create a Dataverse table using SharePoint list, which will copy the entire uh, columns schema and as well as the data along with it. So here we can paste the SharePoint URL or from the recent search site, we can pick the site, scroll down and just try to find the list which you want to convert to Dataverse table. So I'll just say product catalog and I'll go to next. It will list down all the table properties, which is nothing but columns. So this will open up the table properties. You can see I have the same columns which I have in my SharePoint site. I open my SharePoint site, just go to the same list. You will see all these three columns over there. So right now these are just normal text column, numeric column. So we are going to create table with much more complex columns. The more complex columns like uh, user and choice field, so which can be actually imported as well in SharePoint also. But there is a limitation on the other column types which cannot be, for example, lookup type to a list or the image column or any hyperlink columns. So these columns cannot be imported. So I'll tell you like once I create this app, so I'll have this my app created. So I got my app created and this is in regards when I start creating a new app. But what if like if I want to just create a table and just change the data source of my existing app. So for that you have can. You can directly go to this data was table. So as I said in case we just want to import or replace the SharePoint list from data source to data was table and we can do we can directly go to tables and for any existing application I'll just create SharePoint, create table with SharePoint list and we'll do the same steps. So this time I'll pick a new list which has choice column and user column. So we'll take a look on the data type once it's imported. So it has all the leaves column and this field is a choice field. So if I add it column, you will see I have this choices which are imported correctly as approve rejected and new choice option and once I create the data was table by this list then I will have this leave request list as a data source and I will go to my existing app which is using this list as data source and replace this data was table so I'll open my existing app and this is my existing app which is using SharePoint list as a data source and now I want to change this data source to my data table which we just created. 
this leave request list and now I'll just remove this existing data source and add the data source which is from data was table as the request list so you must have observed that over here it added this as in end which makes it prove plural so we have to adjust our data source name in all the places wherever we are using so it's s so that it can start reading the right data source name and maybe like we have to do that in couple of areas just to make it work properly and once you update your entire uh, data source with this new name then you will have all the functionalities running as is for you and instead of saving the data into SharePoint list we are going to leverage data was table and when we fix all the data source names from SharePoint this list to data was table then we can actually run this one and we'll create a new record and this time we are expecting this new leaf to be added into data was table not in SharePoint so I'll just set something as manually just to quickly test I'll just choose the valid dates 17 to 18 and I'll save this one and I will go back to my data was table and I will do a refresh so that I can have a look on my this new leaf which I have added and at the same time I'll go to my SharePoint list and try to find out my old data source and I would not be expecting any new record created over here because I've changed the data source my new my existing apps has started using my new data source which is data was table and over here I had this new record which I created the creep and the date was 17 to 18 so this how you can quickly replace your existing SharePoint list as data source with new data was tables with much ease just in few clicks with that existing data and start reaping the benefit of data was table instead of SharePoint list. So that is it for today's video and if you like this one please do drop your comments and do like the video. Thank you.